So now in this video to make my voltage doubler circuit more practical we added a 555 timer. The 555 timer though is uh, switching very slowly. That's why we're just getting short pulses right now. We can uh, either uh, leave that uh, pulsing if we like that effect or we can take a smaller value capacitor and everything else being equal. Now we have a, a voltage doubler where the voltage is holding about steady and the LEDs stay on pretty well. So now we're going to zoom in and uh, look at how this works. I turn the uh, power off so the LEDs aren't flashing at all. So in any case, first off, we need to start with a uh, low output as far as the transistors are concerned. That's actually when the 555 timer is high. But in any case, you can see we got 5 volts there. It's uh, headed to ground. The transistor pretty much turns on fully. So we have a pretty direct connection there, but we have a dial drop. So the capacitor is going to uh, dial drop there charge to about four and a half volts. That's that current path there. Now, when the 555 timer output flips, the gates have the same voltage across them, uh, so there's no way that both transistors can be on at the same time. Then uh, when we have a low output, the uh, P-channel enhancement mode MOSFET will turn on, and then we'll get a positive uh, supply. So what that does, that comes positive over there to the uh, source through the drain there, and into the capacitor, and that pumps that uh, voltage actually it moves current but ultimately the voltage transfers over to that capacitor that one charges a bit uh, going to ground right there so it has another diode drop though as you can see there so out of uh, uh, 10 volts because you consider you know charging 5 volts and then charging that way another 5 volts because of the two diodes you actually drop more than a volt right there so we're going to end up somewhere about uh, 8.5 volts across that uh, capacitor. It'll go a little higher with no load, but uh, that's what we can expect. So in any case, then you got the load there. We're only working with 5 volts, but the LEDs need at least about 6 volts. So we have to keep uh, continuing that process going rapidly, or it will just pulse when we go slower. So we can just uh, pick the capacitor we want for the effect that we want. So now when it comes to the transistors, they're both MOSFETs, uh, P-channel, enhancement mode, uh, BS250 right there. That is the pin layout. Hopefully that's showing up just fine. And then the N-channel enhancement mode MOSFET, it's in the T192 package instead of the E-line there. Uh, that's its pin layout. So the fronts are both facing us. You can see that uh, the drains are next to each other. And the uh, fronts are uh, both facing to the right as far as this circuit is concerned. So we have... Uh, the uh, drain of both of them right there to the negative side of that capacitor. And then the uh, gates are uh, both uh, right next to uh, the drain, the center there. So you can see I got a little jumper connecting the two gates together and then another uh, jumper connected to that jumper going to the output of the 555. So I think that worked out pretty well. And then the sources for both of them we have to the supply voltage. So top pin there for the BS250 to the positive supply and the uh, bottom pin of the 2N7000 right there, the source, is uh, going to the negative supply. Now the uh, circuit here with the transistors like this is called a uh, push-pull circuit. So remember the output is either a low right there, that's actually when the gates are, are high, or the output is high. So when the output is high because the gates are low, then we have a high output, it is uh, pushing current. And then when we have the transistor output low, that is when it is pulling current right there, push-pull. Remember too, the gates do not need any current. Just a slight bit moves when the charges move, but for the most part, they just look at the voltage and turn the transistor on or off. So the 555 timer output is really not providing any current. And uh, that could be a problem for some circuits if it has to provide current, but not so much for this one. The uh, benefit we have here is we're getting a direct 5 volts or a direct 0 volts from the transistor, whereas we could not do that with the 555 timer. We lost especially some voltage from the uh, positive uh, supply. So we're getting more output uh, voltage than we would if we made the voltage doubler just with the 555 timer. So now focusing on the 555 timer. When we had the pulses, we had a 100 microfarad uh, capacitor. That's because it takes longer to charge when we're using uh, 10,000 ohm resistors right there. So it went into the diode, into the uh, larger capacitor. Uh, to make it uh, go faster, we have the 10 nanofarad uh, capacitor right there. And uh, so that's uh, 10,000 times larger there. This is uh, switching on and off 10,000 time, 10, times faster. 
so uh, charging and then of course it has to discharge through that 10,000 uh, ohm resistor so it's making the high low uh, timing about equal approximately thanks to uh, that diode those uh, two pins pin two and uh, pin two six are uh, sensing the voltage but we're not going to go over that in too much deal uh, detail in this video it's just a straightforward a stable mode 555 timer so if that's confusing just look up a stable mode 555 timer and learn about that circuitry so now we're going to come back and do another uh, demonstration because there's more to the circuit to uh, understand. So we got the 100 microfarad capacitor. Again, we want a slow process. Uh, keep an eye on those uh, LEDs when we turn the power on. You should notice that uh, they take a while to uh, turn on before they uh, start pulsing. So it takes a little bit longer because you have to charge that capacitor a bit further at first and whatnot. And uh, so if you have this set for uh, slow pulses, it's going to take a, a bit longer. Uh, then you may expect to uh, start things off, but uh, don't worry, it uh, might still be working unless it never starts. So in any case, here we have a 22 microfarad capacitor. It's pulsing about five times uh, faster. So you may like that, you may not. Um, so we don't have much current going through here because we have the pulses. That's the other thing when there's uh, pulses. The amount of uh, current flow uh, doesn't... Uh, go up as high because they're not on all the time so now we have the uh, rapid uh, pulses and uh, it was uh, eight uh, milliamps now it's seven this actually isn't as accurate as a multimeter maybe it's only like uh, five milliamps or something a lot of times it's a couple off but uh, in any case i say five milliamps because i measured before we have 8.5 volts across that capacitor unless something changed along the way 1000 ohm resistor protecting the led so they're dropping about uh, six volts out of 8.5 so 1000 ohm resistor that gives us about two and a half milliamps of current but remember that current has to charge uh, that capacitor and then current also has to uh, push that current into uh, that one so we got the current charging and then the current discharging that capacitor into that one you know putting it in series with the power supply but in any case uh, we got twice as much current flowing through that capacitor as uh, what is flowing through the load that's how you get more voltage is by uh, more current from the source than what the load uh, needs so if we have about uh, 2.5 milliamps of current there we probably have at least 5 milliamps of current uh, through that capacitor so this isn't completely accurate some other stuff needs current as well so that may be uh, changing uh, the uh, doubling of the amount of current in order to get uh, twice the voltage uh, doubling the current from the power source but uh, that's stuff we could measure later we're not going to worry about it too much just realize you need more current in then you get out when you have more voltage out than you put in and finally for those that uh, just like to look at the uh, diagram we're gonna end that with a review I'm also gonna post this diagram to my community page though which uh, most people will probably see first so in any case we got the two LEDs we need at least a uh, six volts to really get them to light up at all we only got a five volt supply so we can uh, double the voltage with uh, this circuitry there if we have a push-pull configuration output somewhere and uh, we have that with these transistors here so we can uh, charge the capacitor like that and then pump that charge into the other capacitor with the supply uh, power as well uh, so it's pumping both of them into that capacitor that's where the charge pump comes now it's push pull because uh, when the uh, inputs are low the gates are just looking at voltage current doesn't really go through but when they're low we have a high output so that is the push as far as currents concerned current is considered positive moving to negative the opposite of uh, electron flow which is actually more scientifically correct but in any case, when uh, current is being pulled, that means that it's going to ground. So that's a low output. To do that, you need a positive input coming to the gates. And you don't need the full 5 volts. The output loses a little voltage. Uh, it's good enough, as you can see from this uh, circuit, to turn them on or off uh, completely when we only have about 3.5 volts or 0 volts. And it is an A-stable mode 555 timer, as I said before. When the output is high, that's while the capacitor is charging up to two-thirds supply voltage, as far as pin 6 is concerned. And then uh, pin 7 goes to ground. When the output goes low, any current there just goes directly to ground. Uh, but the current uh, discharges uh, from the capacitor until it drops to one-third uh, supply voltage. So they're both low until you get to one-third. Then they uh, both 
start seeing more positive the capacitor and the output there so that's enough review uh thanks for sticking around this long um make sure you check out one of the other videos i'm posting to the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot i'll see you in the next video